Trees downtown, not bad actually. Heading for, well, my prediction is 20 degrees. Barbara's prediction today, rather bold, 22 degrees. Let's not forget we're in winter time. Doesn't feel like winter at all, it really doesn't. Thursday, August the 12th, and I'm really, really elated because, believe me, uh, right now we're joined uh, not only by Zambia, but also by Georgia and America. And this is something first because we haven't actually done this extreme before. Now, uh, first of all, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and it is an absolute pleasure, thank you for joining us on Facebook Live this morning here at Galaxy because today uh, we're actually creating history. We haven't done this before, uh, even though we have spoken and doubled up with a couple of artists in a couple of different areas, usually in the same kind of country. Today we're doing it, one coming out of Africa and one coming out of America and of course, we're combining it here in New Zealand. Absolutely fantastic. Got to welcome along Monique Styles. I love, love, love Monique's work. I really, really do. And I'm going to talk to her in depth about reggae music. I really, really am. Then at the same time, joining us is Denroy Morgan. Now, Denroy, uh, let me fill you in on this. Uh, Denroy is not only an ordained priest, He's a bishop. Now, the only thing I've ever had to do with a bishop, you know, sort of like on a checkers board, you know, playing chess. I've never met a bishop before, even though I have shaken hands with a cardinal, and I have been next to the guy who threw an egg at the Pope in Auckland. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, now he runs around in a fishbowl kind of deal. Yeah, uh, but pre that, he had an open air car, and the guy standing next to me literally threw an egg at the Pope. So, uh, that was an interesting time watching that all transpire as well. So I want to talk to Denroy about not only his music, but about his beliefs and everything like that. We have time. We really do. But in the meantime, let's kick it off. First of all, ladies first, Monique Styles and reggae music here at Galaxy. Love this track, Monique. Yes, I do very much. Well, I, I tell you what, we play you in the breakfast show here, uh, which is very, very rare that, that anybody other than Taylor Swift or people like that get onto the uh, breakfast show. You are starting to chart on our Pops charts and our reggae show that we have on a Wednesday night as well. Uh, also, you're, into, you're in that one as well. Uh, we also put both ears into the Galaxy Artists show that we play because we knew you guys were going to come for an interview. And um, I, wa I want to run you down a little bit. Uh, and I've got to thank Marvin for uh, putting us in touch with not only Monique, but also Denroy Morgan as well. Uh, and the reason I want to run this down with you guys is literally we get about 30 bands a day wanting to do the interviews. Uh, we're in... A number of countries right now I'll give you all the stats at the end of this you will be surprised you really really will uh, but believe me there's not a country in the world that we're not in and broadcasting to right now and we have huge huge amount of people listening in following us also on the internet um, absolutely loving your music now my breakfast show or our breakfast show my co-host Barbara we play music by the amount of requests that we get. And Denroy, I've got to let you know, honestly, uh, with both of you, we have literally just played the music, didn't say anything to anybody. And it blew up our internet for both years. Literally. Everybody wanted to know who, what, when, where, how. So we're going to address these today. Okay, guys? Yes, yes. And... Um, Denroy, the one that we have picked out for you is Everybody Wants to Be Somebody. That one is charting here at Galaxy as well, okay? Um, wow. I really want That's to talk to you about, yeah, believe me, I really want to talk to you about Rust the Man, I'll Do Anything, the whole gambit, but we will make a time 
to come back and go through those songs together. What do you reckon? Yes, amazing. Thank you for uh, uh, exposing that song in this time. Everybody want to be somebody. That was from 1984. Wow. Well, believe me, brother, the, it, people love it. They just keep requesting it over and over and over again. And I'll give you the number of requests, how many people have asked for it as we get there. Okay, my friend? Thank you. And, and Monique, I'll let you know how many people have been requesting reggae music because I think you'll be astounded as well. There's a lot of people loves this song. Anyway. No, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. It's, it's amazing. At the same time... There are people from listening. At the same time, Monique, um, I've got uh, a friend of mine who said, please say hello to Monique for me. Uh, I'm talking about Melody Uganda. He says he loves you. Oh, thank you very much. I send my greetings to you too. <laughs> nice. Let's go to the desk. here at Galaxy 107 FM and I'm absolutely elated. Thank you for joining me today because today we're joined by not one artist, two artists and you're going to love this. You really, really are. We never get enough reggae here at Galaxy and when we do, we jump all over it. We really, really do. Today we're talking to Monique Stiles and also to Rez Danroy Morgan. Now believe me, looking forward to catching up with both of these guys but first is first, right? We're gentlemen, yes. Let's talk to Monique first. Monique Styles, welcome to Galaxy. Thank you very much, and I'm so honoured to be interviewed by Galaxy 107. Um, I'm just... <laughs> Can you say that again, please? Unfortunately, the uh, little pluggy thing seemed to uh, uh, not work. Having another go. No problem. I'm saying I'm really happy and honoured to be part and interviewed uh, by Galaxy 107. It's, it's really my uh, my pleasure. Yeah, well, you know something? I've got to be honest with you. Not only am I humbled to meet you, Monique, I really, really am, but I'm super humbled to meet Denroy Morgan as well. Now, uh, Monique, being gentlemen here, uh, we open the show Ladies First with reggae music. And uh, we do play uh, quite a bit of your music here at Galaxy. In fact, I'm finding it hard these days to actually get through a breakfast show without playing at least one or two of your songs. Now, tell me a little bit about reggae music. How did you come to the lyrics of that? Well, um, I actually started to say about how I started with uh, reggae music. Because uh, um, I remember it was uh, on a Saturday, uh, some, some, uh, and I was in April, early April. We just sat by my friend's uh, shop, so we were a little bit bored. And you know, there's this guy who came in with a guitar, and I was really anxious because I've always wanted to learn how to play guitar. So he started playing guitar, and we were just like jamming to some songs, and then all of a sudden. He just uh, started playing an instrument and got a little bit emotional. So I thought of reggae. I was like, okay, what can I talk about reggae? Because so I was in the mood of reggae that day. And then uh, it just happened that 
reggae music came into my mind and I came up with the first lyrics and then the rest just had to go on and it was really amazing because I thought I was never going to take it seriously. I thought it was just going to be there and then and then I just get done with it and forget about it. But it so happened that when I reached home, it was still ringing in my head. And I thought, I was like, okay, maybe I can just like record it or something for fun. And then it happened that when I was recording it in the studio, everybody fell in love with it. It was like sing a long song. Like everybody started saying, you know, reggae music has been there for like years and years. And everybody has been trying to like rule out reggae music because they have a bad perspective about it. So like maybe she should just go ahead and, you know, complete the whole song. <laughs> well, I got to be honest with you, Monique. Here at Galaxy right now, we've had 1,977 requests. It's still climbing. We're still playing it. We love, love, love it. We really, really do. And hope that we can uh, get you back with some brand spanking new music in the, in the near future. Now, having said that, now I have a young lady over in Palermo, Italy, who asked me, her name is Domino, by the way. She says, Monique, what is the secret? to your success? I would say um, my secret to my success for me it is happiness. One to be successful needs to have peace in the heart. You need to have a clean soul. You need to have peace with everybody around you. And I think that's my only secret to, to my success because Everybody loves me because I'm jovial. Even if somebody gets to hurt me, I, I find means and ways to find peace of pleasure. Because I would never know who's going to help me at the end of the day. You know, I, I get that. And uh, absolutely, what a great answer it really, really is. Uh, another fan question too, by the way, Monique, is uh, as a fan... How do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? But more importantly, Monique, do you respond? I do respond 24 7. I'm always online. I always respond back. And uh, you can catch me on Facebook. That's uh, Monique Stout, the Dance of Cream. You can also find me on uh, Instagram, which is the same Monique Stout, the Dance of Cream. And uh, on YouTube, actually, yes, you can find uh, I've got two, two videos. No, right now I've got three videos on YouTube. So if you just search for my next house, you'll catch me there. Now, you're the youngest of a family of six. Were they all sisters? I've got uh, four sisters and one brother. Very, very cool. Now, uh, did you grow up in a musical family? It was your environment musical. What was your influences in getting you into music? My environment wasn't uh, a musical environment. Um, I would say all my siblings are not really much into music. Uh, my dad is also not, not really a love of music. So I just found myself to be this white chair for music. <laughs> so um, I would say it all started when uh, I was at school. I used to, to hang around uh, four girls. They were all passionate about music. So from there, I just took it over. I felt like music was just really in. And then I went ahead to start singing in a church choir. So I never left it so much. Um, from there, I, I met a few amazing people, and uh, including my manager, who I'm still with up to now. Okay. It's, it's really been amazing, right? Now, g give me a shout out for your manager, please, because we want to, you know, give him a promo. And, and congratulations for doing a job well done to this day. So, who is your manager? Uh, my manager is uh, uh, Arthur Chiaka. He's a but uh, you can also catch him on Facebook. That's A C A C Chiaka. That's C H I. Y-K-A-K-A, Chiaka. Absolutely brilliant, because uh, believe me, we need to give that man a pat on the back. Uh, we also need to give Denroy Morgan a pat on the back, uh, because he's your mentor as well, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's my mentor. 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 He's
Yes, this is, this is my mentor, and it's been amazing. I I hope it, I would say it's by God's grace, and uh, I really want to thank uh, Malvin from Uganda for connecting me to him. It, it's really been an honor because he's been such a very good mentor, and he has helped me a lot. And um, it's not yet. I wouldn't say it's the end of the road. I'm still yet to learn more from him. You know something. Uh, I, I think you have a, uh, a talent, and, and I think you've uh, got a long way to go in the music industry, but having said that, right now, I think that you're going to be a hit all around the world. I really, really do. Now, uh, having said that, and we did mention uh, uh, Res Denroy Morgan, sir, it's a pleasure to have you with us. I'm very humbled to have you. My pleasure. And thank you for having us. It is an absolute pleasure. Uh, besides, I love the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I really do love that hat. I've got one similar to... Is that real dreadlock? Yes, it is. Nice. Now, uh, you originally hail from Jamaica, don't you? Yes, I am. So what took you to the United States? First, I would like to greet the audience. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahshua ben Elohim, the Son of the Living God, Jesus Christus, the Redeeming Messiah. I'd also like to greet the world in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eilis Lassie I, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Conquering Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Fulfillment of Prophecy, and His Christ in His Kingly Character. What brought me to America. I think it was just my ambition and the influence that Britain and America have and Jamaica. We feel like to get a better opportunity in life, education, to get a good job. As a little boy, I know that Britain was the place. But as I become older as a teenager, America became the place. So I came to America because I wanted to do better for myself and for my family, to help my mother and my father, and to help my siblings to make a better headway in life. That was the main reason why I came to America. No. Not expecting that I would be here as long as I have been and that I would have done the things that I've done since I've been here. Give God thanks and praise for bringing me here. That is absolutely fantastic. And I've got to let you know, uh, Denroy, again, like Monique Styles, we can't seem to get through a breakfast show without playing at least one of your songs. Rasta Man is charting, I've got to be honest with you, and a number of others. But right now, we're going to go with everybody wants to be somebody. Literally 3,122 requests to date and still climbing. Believe me, everybody is absolutely loving this, sir. They really, really are. Here, live at Galaxy, is Denroy Morgan, and everybody wants to be wow. somebody else. Uh, uh. How you feeling, guys? You okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, <laughs> the next one we have up for you is Zambezi River. Yeah. Now, who wants to talk about it? Uh, Monique, you first. Go ahead. Uh, hold on, hold on. We will do that when we go back live. We really, really will. I wanted to ask him about what that song about. Okay. Yeah, about, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going yeah. to lead into that, yes, literally. Uh, by the way, currently 75 countries around the world have joined us online. Wonderful. And, uh, the best uh, is love to everyone. I, I will let you know how many cities, when I get that information, and at the end of this, I'll let you know how many online altogether that are listening to us. So, uh, and you'll be happily surprised. You really, really will. 
Um, how's the COVID virus thing doing where you are, Denroy? Are you okay over there? Oh, yeah. Monique, how about you? Yeah. How's things going for you over in Zambia through this COVID virus thing? Um, it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult because mm -hmm. um, movements are slightly uh, restricted. Yeah. Though we're not in a total lockdown and uh, business is a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to music, we ain't having any shows over here. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really been tough. Like, so we're just committed into recording now. But I uh, was actually ended up with a, I think the, the, the songs that we've recorded during the period of COVID, we should just get to promote them and see the way forward afterwards. Yep, yep. I, I fully agree. But believe me, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We, we believe that. I mean, here in New Zealand, we don't have any in the community, haven't had done for about a year and a half now. Um, we've, we've looked after ourselves here in New Zealand. Uh, we're currently almost completely through the uh, vaccine rollouts. So we're, we're taking care of ourselves. Um, we don't have an open border right now, uh, but we can have concerts if you're internal. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. we're, we're looking maybe about January, February to re invest into looking at whether we can have people come to New Zealand and do concerts yeah, and perform and stuff like that vaccinated. from international artists. Uh, yeah. Believe me, oh, guys, like Barbara has a company that brings artists into the country, sets up shows, she does everything. She's a one-stop shop. And when this COVID hit, it stopped everything. And believe me, we had a number of people that have literally had to find other employment elsewhere to be able to just make the ends meet. You know what I mean? Wonderful. But uh, we believe that literally, if, if we can do it and get through this, so can the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It, yes. It, it's yeah. just, just believing that we can get there and doing all the right things and the right steps to be able to make that happen. By the grace of God, I do believe that this will one day become history. I have heard on a rate of pandemic hitting the planet before, mm. but we are actually experienced this. And uh, I spent a year and three months in Jamaica, which I was very happy to be there during that time last year. And I've been back here in America since May of this year. And it is a very stressful, especially on parents who have young kids going to school and the, the confusion that is existing where in some place they're saying wear masks and some place they say don't wear masks. Some place they're saying if you have been vaccinated, you don't need masks. But who knows who has been vaccinated when you go to the store? You know, or somebody can be not vaccinated and don't have on a mask and we don't know. So there's a lot of confusion going on here in America where this is concerned. Don't. And they have a new virus now, they call the Delta, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> the vaccine is not as effective. So it is very, very stressful and somewhat chaotic here today in America with the vaccine. But by the grace of God and the cooperation of all of us by recognizing what science is suggesting and what uh, the politicians are suggesting, make the right decision for the benefit of others. Absolutely, Denroy. I'm going to have to butt in there. Let's go back to the desk. We'll go live. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 29 away from 12 o'clock, midday lunchtime, 20 degrees. I win, so far, anyway, uh, but believe me, 22 degrees, not unreasonable. I think Barbara might actually stand a good chance now, you never know.
Uh, she'll tell me all about it tomorrow in the breakfast show, I'm sure about it. It is Thursday, August the 12th, and uh, glad to have everybody along this morning, because believe me, today I'm doing a double. I am so elated to be able to not only handshake with Zambia, but also with Georgia over in America, and these guys literally have done some fantastic work together. They really, really have. Having said that, uh, Denroy literally is a man of the cloth. He really, really is, and I've got to give it a lot of respect for that. I really, really do. Uh, but at the same time, Denroy, uh, I noted you have a rather large family. Yes, sir. How the heck did you I... find the time to do music, do your, your religion thing, and create a family so large? Okay. I, I, I would like to go back to the, the song Zambezi River because this is where it started with Monique and I. And uh, as I was suggesting that Monique, I would love for you to speak on that song first and let me pick up after. And I will come back and speak about the large family mm -hmm. that I have been creating and uh, still happening because... My children are having children, and my grandchildren are having children, so we have a lot to talk about that, but Zambezi River is really a song that really touched me, and I would like Monique to say, because when the song came to me, Monique had already had her vocals on it, and she leave the space for me to create some lyrics. And I was in Jamaica when I really heard the melody that came in my head about Zambezi River. So it was a, a, a great opportunity for me to learn about Zambezi River and to learn more about Zambia and the tribes and the challenges that are experiencing by the community there. Monique, can you tell us about Zambezi River? Why did you send it to me? And how did you enjoy <laughs> my lyrics and my melody that I brought to the song. Um, okay, um, when uh, I was connected to Dinner Morgan, and then uh, he suggested saying I should uh, come up with a song that we can do together. It was a little bit tough because uh, I didn't know which song to do with him. Looking at it that uh, He's an elderly man, so I needed an appropriate song to do it. <laughs> it, was, it was very difficult to come up with it. So I was started going through the process that he had become very back in the past. So we came across uh, Zambezi River. So we sat down with my manager. We, we had to talk about it, and then it made sense. Looking at him that he was in Jamaica, we are here in Zambia, and then... The most thing that people love to travel from far as, you know, USA, New York, New Zealand, UK, they come to see the Victoria Falls, which the Victoria Falls is actually originated from Zambezi River. So I thought about it, I was like, okay, since this is one of uh, the most, you know, talk about falls, and it's uh, one of the seven wonders in the world, which I, I, I say thank you to God. <laughs> so um, after we, we concluded to say, okay, Zambezi River is actually the song that we can do. So I did my lyrics. I had to redo the marketing. I did them, then I sent them to him. So we were waiting for his response to say if the song is okay or not. And to my surprise, Extensive vocals and it was so amazing. I never believed that it would come out this great. And right now, uh, I'm receiving some, some calls to say Zambezi River can actually be used because it's, it's one way of uh, selling out Zambia to say we have this one of the seven wonders in the world and it's really been advertised out there. So it's really a great song and I'm loving it that I'm getting such a huge response. Over that. Well, I'm going to let you know, Monique, and same with you, Denroy, that uh, so far, 2,700 
request. Well, 27.55, to be honest with you. And again, still climbing. So believe me, it is taking hold here at Galaxy. Now, uh, Monique, you live in Livingston City, don't you? Yeah. Is that very far away from the falls? Sorry, come again? Is that very far away from the falls? No, actually the forest is in Zambia. And right. uh, the city that I've seen, Livingston, that's where the Victoria Falls is. So this is uh, where I am, this is uh, the tourist. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I thought it sounded familiar, to be very, very honest with you. Uh, I've toured the world myself with a uh, couple of big-name bands over the years, and we have been to the falls, if you know what I mean. We've had a look around, taken the picture snaps and everything like that. Uh, so very, very envious that you actually get to experience that all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's fantastic. It really is. <laughs> now, Denroy, uh, before we actually get in and play Zambezi River, uh, I, I want to just backtrack a little bit. Everybody wants to be somebody else. Now, I want to find out what was the motivation behind this. Tell me about the lyrics of this. The lyrics, that, that, that song was written by uh, a, a drummer by the name of Lenny White in New York. And it was presented to me at the time I was signed to RCA Records, and that was an historical signing as the first Rastafari and the first reggae artist to be signed to RCA Records. And when I heard the song, it made me feel like everybody should be able to relate to that song, lyrically, because everyone wants to be somebody, but everyone have someone who they admire and who they want to be looked at as an example or inspiration. So when I look at it, I say, this gives you an opportunity to see something or see someone, but go in yourself, to be yourself. So that was what made me feel so good about the lyrics of the song. That everybody wants to be somebody else. But you got to get into yourself to be really who you were designed to be. You know, I, I get that. I really, really do. Uh, personally, I tell everybody, be yourself. Everybody else is taken. Okay? Try that. <laughs> but in the meantime, live here at Galaxy, joined by Monique Styles and Denroy Morgan. We just talked about it, Zambezi River. This is a duo that I absolutely love. In fact, I've got it on my uh, speed dial in my car right now. You're right here at Galaxy. Check this out. Oh, yeah. This is Gosh, it's hot in here. You okay? <laughs> it is. Uh, what, what do you go by, Fahrenheit or Celsius, Monique? Sorry, come again? Uh, when you measure the temperature, is it Fahrenheit or Celsius? Uh, it's Celsius. Celsius. What's the temperature there now? Any idea? No, today I didn't check, so I'm not pretty sure what the temperature. Okay, well, unfortunately, you see, Barbara and I in the breakfast show every morning, we try to predict what the temperature will be, uh, we're in Celsius as well. Unfortunately, Denroy's in Fahrenheit. And, uh, well, I, Barbara usually likes to try and win. You know what I mean? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. she, she's done it again. <laughs> it's 22 degrees. It doesn't feel like winter. And believe me, right now, where we are, we're in the warmer part of New Zealand. Um, it should only be about 13 to 16 degrees. Wow. You know, so um, it's it's kind of showing that this climate change thing really is starting to take effect. Yes. You know? I, I, I hope that our government and our scientists can come together to do the right thing for the preservation of humanity with this climate change 
that is going on. Absolutely. I just want to go back to the song Zambezi River. That when I heard it, it made me think of the border of U.S. and Canada. To think of the Niagara Falls. It made me think of Jamaica, one of the famous tourist area where we have a fall called Dunn's River Fall. So when I hear of Zambezi River, I think of Dunn's River. And I say this is where Zambia and Jamaica come together. A young creamy lady, the dancer cream of Zambia, present her lyrics and something about her country. And here I am thinking about uh, Ni Niagara Falls and thinking about uh, Downs River as a Jamaican elder. It was really a joyful feeling for me to come up with the lyrics that is in my verse of the song. Very yes, cool, dude. I think very yeah. internationally on that song. Very cool, my friend. I'm going to have to butt in right there. I'm sorry to do so. We're just running out of time. Um, our, our last song is Wildflower, but after we do this interview, don't go anywhere because we're going to take some photos and um, we'll make a movie for you. You'll get a copy of everything we do. And guys, we'll also make a cartoon. Wonderful. <laughs> That's day. That's right, you're right, Eric Galaxy, 107 FM, 17 away from 12 o'clock lunchtime, uh, Barbara 1, 22 degrees again. Yeah, she's. Uh, I shouldn't have taught her how to do it. Now, I can't even win, to be honest with you. Uh, she's got it down so well. Thursday, August the 12th, here in New Zealand, and it's an absolute pleasure not only to be talking to Monique Stiles, uh, but then Roy Morgan as well. Now, having said that, uh, we just played Zambezi River and we we're getting a, um, a, a a basic on everything about that particular track. And I'm absolutely fascinated, especially the analogy between America and Canada, uh, Zambezi and Jamaica, everything like that. Fantastic. It really, really is. And I'm hoping that Denroy will come back and do a full interview on what we have and maybe new stuff in the future anyway. Uh, and I know that there's a new EP coming out. Uh, now, having said that, I'm also going to say, Monique, uh, right now with this um, COVID virus thing going on, obviously there's not a lot of shows being done where you are. Are you recording more? Are you writing more as we speak? Are you looking at uh, releasing new music soon? Um, yeah, I am. Um, I'm actually writing a new four or five songs and uh, I'm yet to also write some other tracks because I've got some other projects and uh, the good thing is that uh, um, even if the, the pandemic is still going on I, I received a call from South Africa from uh, Pumi Maduna she is uh, one of the female uh, radio legends and uh, we did a song about celebrating her life and uh, it's, it's been such an amazing thing because they took an opportunity to, to consider me from here, Zambia. As a, a young female upcoming artist, it, it was really such a pleasure. The song, they loved it, it's great. They're also now promoting it there in uh, South Africa. That is cool. Will you send us a copy of that as well? I will, I will. <laughs> Please, we, we would really, really love to hear it now. Uh, i got to let you know, and, and I've been doing this for a number of years now, not only am I a DJ in a radio station, but I've been a, a studio engineer as well. I've been a, a producer in studios, uh, also a front of house engineer traveling around the world with some of the biggest bands in the world. Now, uh, guys, I can't fault your work. Monique, where are you getting your work recorded? Give us a shout out for your recording company. Give us a shout out for your producers and who's mastering you. Um, I would say where I'm recording from uh, is right here in uh, Livingston, Zambia. We've got a studio in uh, uh, an air called uh, Highland. So he's, he's 
in our partner Everything and uh, some of the equipment that you see are actually from my, my manager. So we had like combined the equipment together. And uh, I, I'll give out a shout out to one of uh, the Zimbabwean guys here in Africa. He's, uh, his name is uh, Sam Boy. He did some uh, of my tracks. And uh, there's one South African guy who also did uh, I must have won, uh, some of my tracks. I think there were four, four tracks. And then the one uh, in Zimbabwe did about two, two tracks. Very, very. Uh, no, no. Yes, not not forget you. So, uh, also Dino did master some of my songs maybe in Atlanta. Yeah. Now I I thought Dino had something to do with it. Now Dino at the same time, got to ask you, my friend, as a fan, can we find a website where we can download your music? Can we? Uh, do you have a merch store on your website as well? Yes, you can go and. Uh, YouTube, Russ Denroy Morgan. You can go on Facebook, Russ Denroy Morgan. Twitter also, and Instagram also. My music is available on those platforms. And wherever digital music are sold, you can find my music there. And uh, I just want to touch base on the, the upcoming release of Monique's EP, which is called Sweet Girl from Africa, will be released on the 13th of this month. That's Friday coming. And it will be on the Ace of Records distributed by Vipal Music. So we would like for all who is listening to go and get Monique upcoming EP will be released on the 13th of this month. And we are all excited about that. You know, I am too, and believe me, I'm going to make sure that I make sure all the people, we don't actually have fans here at Galaxy, we have an audio audience, and they will go and check out everything about Monique Styles and also Russ Denroy Morgan. Now, uh, having said that, guys, the one song that seems to just be blitzing everything here at Galaxy is Wildflower. Tell me about this. Well, Wildflower was recommended to me by a friend of mine, uh, actually a, a, a faith sister. She's of the same faith, except she's not a Rastafarian, but she's a Christian. I don't consider myself a Christian. I think I'm a Christ-like person. And I'm an Israelite, and I'm a Rastafarian. She, I, I, I played... Monique song Zambezi River for her and she think Monique have a similar sound to Dolly Parton so she said it would be a good idea to have Monique do a Dolly Parton song I asked her to choose one of the songs that she think would be suitable for Monique and she sent me a, a wildflower and when I listened to the lyrics of wildflower I said wow I feel like I'm a wildflower guy you know so I thought of doing it with Monique. So I, I recorded it, blessed up my producer friend and arranger musician, Kuzi Miller from the Anthem Band. We sat and we worked it out. And we said, we don't want to make no changes to the music. We just want to cover this song. And I recorded my vocal and I sent it to Monique. Like Monique did, did her thing and send it back to us. We mix it and we master it. And I give thanks for it. She did a great job. And I felt so good being a part of that record with her. So we are both Wildflower. She's a young female Wildflower known as the dancehall cream of Zambia. I'm an elder and I'm an old Wildflower, which grow anywhere. So here we are linking Atlanta, Georgia, Livingston, Zambia, and New Zealand. So we are growing. So I'm, I'm glad to know that your audience loves that song. It's a big song. It was a big song for Dolly Parton. I, she, I think she did an excellent job in writing that song. And uh, Wildflower is a flower that can grow anywhere. 
it, 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 it don't have to be nurtured with fertilizer and nurtured with any special water. It is just a flower that has a life can grow against any other plant. Rastafari. You're quite right, my friend. And you know something, Monique, I too think you did an absolute superb job. Uh, Dean Roy, I've got to give you uh, congratulations as well. This is a fantastic song. Uh, 3,999. No, 4,002. Okay, uh, 4,002 requests as we speak right now, and that's the hottest right now, I've got to be honest with you, here at Galaxy is Denroy Morgan, Monique Styles, and Wildflower. <laughs> Four thousand and two. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of requests. That's fantastic. Um, well, I, I'd like to say bless up and big up to Minister Wasala out of Nairobi, Kenya, from the New Breed City, City Chapel Church. She's the one that recommend that I get something sound like Monique which is the Dolly Parton, and the song she think would be good. And at first, I thought I was just going to let Monique did it. But the fact that I felt like a wildflower, I said, I would like to do it with her. And she willingly does it. And awesome. I want to say congratulations, Monique. You did a fantastic job. Yes, yes. Fully agree. No. Thank you. Thank you. Fully agree. Thank you very much to you, Denry. Now, uh, guys, when we finish with this, we're going to take a couple of photos for uh, Facebook and multimedia purposes. You will get a copy of everything we do, um, including we will make this into a movie as well. We'll put it on YouTube in the raw version that we're getting right now, but we'll also make it into a movie for you. Uh, we'll take some stills. You'll get the stills. Uh, Monique, you'll be able to put them on your on your phone and use them as a wallpaper and say, you know, New Zealanders. Yeah, they're crazy over there. You know what I mean? Wonderful. I look forward to that. I was speaking to Monique's manager today, Mr. AC, and say, whatever footage you have, send it so I can send it to VP Records so we can spread it around the world to say, this is what New Zealand has done for us. Well, believe me, Denroy, you'll get the whole enchilada, including, uh, and this makes me look good, because I've got a perfect face for radio, right? Um, <laughs> it, I, we make it into a cartoon as well, uh, and believe me, I'm loving the cartoons. Everybody seems to absolutely love them. They watch the movie, they watch the raw YouTube version of it, but then they keep going back to the cartoons and watching those. They're fantastic. And for you guys well, over there... As, uh, as you mentioned, that uh, Barbara is like a, a, a one, uh, one-stop station where she does everything. So I hope when this pandemic is over, she will find a way to bring Monique to New Zealand oh, and find a way okay. to bring me there. Yeah. It would be even great if her and I could be there at the same time. Let's talk about that. Jamaica to New Zealand. Let's talk about that. Hold on. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, Kawada, New Zealand, and uh, joined today by my next styles coming out of Zambia, and also uh, Rez Denroy, uh, <laughs> Denroy Morgan. Now, uh, I've got to say one love to both of you. We absolutely love, love, love your work, and would love to have you come back again and talk about new stuff. Uh, but you did mention something, Denroy, about maybe New Zealand. Would you guys consider maybe coming to New Zealand and performing in front of New Zealand audiences? 
it would be my pleasure. I have never been to New Zealand, and the fact that New Zealand, like one of my songs that was recorded from 1984, it makes me seem like I am old and I am still new and fresh in New Zealand. So yes, I would love to come to New Zealand to perform some of my music for the New Zealand people. Absolutely fantastic. What about you, Monique? Would you like to come down under and perform in front of the uh, Kiwis? Very much. I would love it. I would really be excited and I'll be looking forward to that. I would love to travel to come to New Zealand. I've also never been there, so it would it would really be an honor. And um, the most amazing part is that actually we had here, that was a site. Spice was here in Zambia just um I think that was last week. So I was here also uh, visiting the Victoria Falls. It was really amazing to have her here. You know, I yeah, believe me, I would love to be able to go and see Spice myself, to be honest. Uh, now, having said that, guys, uh, we would love to have you here in New Zealand. Maybe we're thinking maybe about four shows here in New Zealand uh, because we're made up of three islands. One's really, really tiny down the bottom, so. We'll consider the two major ones. And then maybe our, well, our fourth island, we, we want to claim it anyway. Uh, we'll call it Australia. And uh, we'll take you over there and show you around Australia as well. Do about maybe eight shows over there. Makes it worthwhile. What do you reckon, guys? Say that again. Well, let's say uh, eight shows in Australia, four shows here in New Zealand. You know, that's 12 shows. That makes it worthwhile you coming down under the play. What do you reckon? I am very excited to just hear that out of your mouth. <laughs> and I pray so that there. the Almighty Creator will make you talk it into action, into reality. With that being said, I just have to send a shout out to my virgin, my spiritual son, Marvin, in Uganda. Because it is Marvin that the Holy Spirit used to bring Monique and I together, to bring me together with the youth from South Africa, Latitude, uh, uh, Vaga Vibes, uh, uh, D D Nashaya David, and uh, uh, what's his name in Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, Bravo. So I want to send a big shout out and thanks to our brother Marvin. He is such a great communicator and big up to his country, Uganda. I pray that the problem they are having there will be resolved soon and people will take care of each other, not only in Uganda, but globally. We need to take care of each other now. We need to let humanity be nurtured by the energy of God love because the energy of man love has failed us in so many different ways. But when God love is manifest true man, then it's nothing but joy and happiness for the souls of man. Amen, my friend. Amen to that. And believe me, uh, Marvin, 42, respect. We love you. Keep up the good work. Uh, now, guys, I am going to have to move on, but please don't go anywhere just yet. We're going to take a couple of photos and do some backstage stuff. Uh, Monique, I really, really appreciate you staying up so late to be able to... Uh, uh, taking this particular interview. i got to give you so much respect. Thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Denroy Morgan, please, please, please keep in touch with us. We would love to be able to do another interview with you uh, alone with uh, all of your music. Same with you, Monique. When we get, you know, maybe about four or five songs, we would love to do a full interview with you as well. And uh, so looking forward to the new EP coming out. We want a copy of that as well. Now, having said that, before we do leave, how uh, next time you both are near a recordable 58 microphone, you know, something that you can record onto a computer, uh, maybe in an MP3 format, how would you like to say, Hi, this is my next styles. You can hear me on Galaxy 107 FM. Same for you, Denroy. Hi, it's Denroy Morgan. You can hear me on Galaxy 107 FM. We will add it to our playlist here so that we keep your names rolling, so that we keep fans knowing who you are. Will you do that for us? Absolutely. Just have Barbara 
sent me exactly what you want me to say. <laughs> and I'll definitely do a couple of jobs for you, and you can choose for what you want for your program. Brilliant. Just send me what you, the name of the, the, the station, I know it's Galaxy, but give me it in full, proper details, and I will definitely do it and send it to you. It's my pleasure. Absolutely stunning. And believe me, Monique, we would love to have you do the exact same thing. So I'll get over to send stuff there for you as well. Now, <clears throat> at the same time, I appreciate it. Believe me, we love you. We really do. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with this, and I do recommend this, please go on Facebook, look at the Galaxy Artist page, go and it's free for you. Go and advertise yourselves there. Literally, if you've got a show coming up, if you've got a new poster, if you've got a new song, if you've got, even if you're going to the opening of a bottle, put it there because, believe me, there is people from all around the world just want to know who you are, want to know more about you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, I am the dancehall queen. She is the dancehall queen from Zambia. Yes. Now, dancehall is doing very well. There's a song out now by Shaggy and Spice. And I think Monique has a flavor that will suit the young generation and even old guys like me would like to see the dancehall cream at her best. Looking forward to see her in, in, in Zambia, see her in New Zealand and Australia. Wherever the Holy Spirit leads us, I pray that I will be a part of her career as she explodes as the dancehall cream of the crowd. Uh, speaking of which, Denroy... Thank you very much, Denroy. Spe speaking of which, Denroy... Uh, I was going to ask Monique if she would mind if we kept an eye on her career uh, because we would love to be able to keep in touch in the future, watch her grow through the music industry. I think she's got something, a little hidden something there at the X Factor and I think the rest of the world are about to find this out. Yes, because I think Monique is a lot more spiritual than probably some of her fans no, because I can hear the energy of the Rastafari culture and spirituality in her lyrics, especially on that song that you played earlier, Reggae Music. And I know that something special is in this young lady, and the world will see it in due time with people like yourself and Barbara and Marvin and Mr. AC and myself working with her she will be exposed and the goodness of her soul musically spiritually culturally will be exposed as the sweet girl from africa very very cool now guys i am going to have to move on now the other studio is going to uh, uh switch over for the lunchtime thing uh but please don't go anywhere just yet uh and believe me i've got something i want to talk to you about uh, just off here that you may be very interested in. But in the meantime, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Let's go back in the day with an old classic from the Beat 52s. Here's the Love Shack.